Hey guys, my name is Andrew. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, in our last video, we installed our Solo Performance Mock Shorty exhaust as well as our Trifecta Tune. I've been loving the new exhaust, it's been great. However, I did get a check engine light. Um, and I also we also installed the High Flow Cat. And I believe that check engine light was because of the High Flow Cat. And I also didn't have installed this O2 sensor. So with repositioning the O2 sensor and this O2 extender, we should clear that issue and no longer have any check engine lights. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'm just showing you the new lift that we got for the channel. Um, it's a quick jacks lift. It's a BL5000 SK, sorry, SLX. Um, it has a 5,000 pound capacity. It should handle the, the Solstice and the other cars that we have um, without a problem. We got the, the two lifts right here as well as the controls and the, the hydraulic pump right there. We're gonna assemble it and then I'll catch up with you guys once it's all put together. Hey guys, so sadly the audio recording failed on this part. Um, so I'll just voice over. Those are the two lifts. Those are the lines that connect to the hydraulic pump. This is a controller that controls whether it goes up or down. Um, when we got it and installed it, I actually had to replace those two hydraulics. Um, they were they were leaking air, so we reached out to Quick Jacks and they sent us over some new ones. We replaced them, everything works on it now. So when you hit the up button on the controller, the lift goes up and same thing when you go down. It's, it's, it's all operational now, it all works. So now we just gotta bring in the car and we'll be set. All right, the car is is lifted now. Um, I actually have to put it down and adjust some things because these were too far forward, and on the opposite side this part right here was actually touching the tire and pushing it in so it made the car unstable which obviously wasn't safe um, so now I've adjusted it put it back all the, the mounts are where they should be that one could be a little further back but we'll be all right this one's where it needs to be as well I'm gonna put some jack stands just in case because if, if they they're said to be safe but you know rather be safe than sorry I'm gonna put um, two more jack stands here and uh, a lift there and then we'll get started all right so this is the o2 sensor and there's this plug so originally when i got the exhaust this plug was there so which is that's why i figured that i had to put the o2 sensor here um but there's not going to be enough room to put an extender just by the way that this is bent so i have to take this plug out i'm going to put this plug here um take the o2 sensor out put the extender on it and then put it here all right, we've been able to get the plug out as well as the O2 sensor, you can see right here. And then we have the extender right here. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna screw this in like so. I'm obviously gonna have to snug it up and then it's gonna go right where that plug was, right in there. So here, let me grab you, you should be able to see that. So this is where it was, this is where that plug was. I'm gonna tighten them up, but they're gonna go in there like so. And then the plug will go right in here. Okay, so this was the plug. Now it's where the O2 sensor was. We have the O2 extender with the O2 sensor right up here, right where it needs to be. Everything's good, everything's snug. All we have to do is lower the car and we're good to go. All right, we're done with the install now. Everything's done. We just got to lower the car. So as you can see right here, this little notch in the, the quick jacks, there's another one right here that this bar bites onto. As you can see a little bit right there. That's kind of what we're gonna do. So right now we have to lift it. That way we can put this down and then we'll slide all the way down. So if we press up, there you go. Now when we lift, that little nap, that notch right there, this is gonna slide on it and then we can slide all the way back. Here's the other side. Now we can slide down. And now we just press the down button and lower the car down. There we go, 
and we're set. Now I'm just gonna take the car for a little drive, make sure everything's good, and I'll be back with you guys. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, hopefully that takes care of that check engine light issue. Thank you to Soul Performance for setting that O2 extender and for the advice as what could have been wrong. Um, I took it for a drive, nothing seemed to be wrong, everything seems fine. Hopefully that check engine light doesn't come back. If you guys liked the video, please be sure to leave a like, um, comment if you have any questions, be sure to subscribe, and here's a clue as to what our next video is going to be about. We're going to be installing that.